As you may know, fume effects have been widely used in creating dramatic fire and smoke effects in many films and video games, and it is still one of the OG VFX tools that is still around and still going strong. In the latest update, Fume Effects 7.5 improved its simulations with significant speed and workflow upgrades. The headline feature is GPU accelerated simulation, so Fume Effects can now harness your Nvidia graphics card to handle smoke and fire simulations, delivering roughly two times to five times faster performance compared to the older CPU-only method. In practical terms, this means if you are simulating a big explosion or billowing cloud, you will spend less time waiting. And even better, FumeFX 7.5 is actually smarter about GPU memory. So if your simulation is too heavy, I mean for the GPU's RAM, it will seamlessly switch over to CPU so the simulation can continue without crashing. Another awesome enhancement is the two-way interaction between fluids and objects. You see, previously you could have smoke and fire collide with objects, but now the influence goes both ways. This means your fuel and facts fluids, like smoke, fire and explosions, can push budget bodies around, and those objects can in turn deflect or affect the fluid flow. You see, this is built on a network system using physics acts, but all you need to know is that it makes simulations way more realistic and dynamic. For example, imagine a building explosion. Debris and shrapnel can be blown outward out of the blast, but as those pieces fly or tumble, the smoke and flame will swirl around them naturally, and they can even nudge the debris further, just like in real life. And this opens up some very cool possibilities for complex destruction seas, or any fact where fluids and solid objects mingle. On top of that, the developers have seriously optimized collision handling. So FumeFX 7.5 processes collisions with static geometry, and it can do this much faster, reportedly 15 times on super complex scenes. So if you've ever got an intricate movement, say a detailed street interacting with your smoke or fire, the simulation won't bog down as much as it used to be. The workflow has gotten some love in this update too. Update 7.5 brings a new GPU-based viewport 2.0, which replaces the old preview system and makes a huge difference in scene interaction. So you can now see multiple simulation grids at once in the 3ds Max viewport with correct occlusion, meaning the smoke and fire from one grid will appear behind or in front of objects in addition to other simulations properly, just as it should in the final render. Also, the viewport is much snappier now, which means no more sluggish feedback when scrubbing or rotating your view, especially with heavy simulations loaded, so everything stays in sync with your scene so you will get a pretty accurate real-time preview of your effect as you tweak it. And for you, this translates into a smoother and more intuitive experience. You know, you can adjust your fire and smoke on the fly and immediately see the impact without fighting a choppy viewport, which can honestly sometimes take you out of the flow of your work. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.